Hi, in this video, I would like to talk about the culture of philosophy in East. Before starting the video, let us hear a small audio clip of Dr. Paulus Magrigorius sharing his thoughts on philosophy. I think it is probably more correct to follow Hegel at this point because he said that philosophy is always the thought of its time as formulated or articulated by a people, especially by some of their spokesmen. Within the historical gestalt, of a particular culture. That is the way all philosophy has arisen, whether it's Chinese or Indian or any other philosophy, has been the thought of its time. Philosophy is not a fool's errand. In fact, according to Professor Janusz Kuczynski, it is the architecture of cultures and even has an inherent pragmatic value to it. For me, philosophy has always been the pursuit of a higher truth. According to Boltzmann, this universe may be a simulation inside a brain floating in space, or there indeed exists a more heightened reality. Nevertheless, the truth is worth pursuing. In fact, far wiser men and women have followed this path and found more bliss than those who were saturated by their intellectual prowess. Even so, we may need help finding it. Most of us will hardly even realize its presence around us. I recently got myself a December present, the latest book on Dr. Paulus Magrigorius, Philosophy and the Quest for Meaning, edited by Dr. K. M. George, which consists of various aspects of philosophy, reflected through his profound speeches and written commentaries. I must admit I'm a fan of PMG, he's articulate and well-versed, but above all, for him there isn't anything greater than the truth, and there is nothing more stronger than fighting for justice. Nothing. Anyways, more on that in the later videos. Dr. Paulo says, we cannot know the whole, but the whole makes it possible for us to fit into it and find bliss and peace. The process of fitting is however challenging. As he puts it, meaning is not given to us on a platter. And in this challenging journey, one must face hurdles and numerous hardships. He adds that philosophy is not a painkiller to restless intellectual. Instead, it provokes humans to rise from their comforts towards what he elegantly says is a true healing joy. Philosophy maybe is essential, but it is equally challenging. As the East and the West philosophies slowly merge as they once did in the ancient world, there are significant possibilities for human reasoning and ultimately the pursuit of truth. At this juncture, I emphasize the importance of philosophy. Philosophy, unlike science, is not categorized. Science can provide rationality, but reasoning, reasoning is a product of not just science but critical thinking and religious schools. This makes humans truly humans. As the East rises from its long slumber, it won't be just the economies that will see change, but their art, culture, and above all, their critical thinking. It was naive that even until the 20th century, the West attributed philosophy and rational thinking to themselves, sidelining the equally ancient but relevant Indian, Chinese, and even Babylonian schools of thought. There is an immense force to be reckoned with here in Eastern philosophy. And while there are several bearers of this, a name almost lost in history is Paulus Magrigorius. However, a generation driven by a passion for service towards a better society and world will always find refuge in his great voice, writing, and above all, his selfless stand for truth and justice.